us. We've been through so many things, but here we are. God has been for us. And you know, the Bible says, if God is for you, who can be against you? Definitely no one. No one can be against you. It has been God on our side since January till this month of June. And before we know it, hey, we'll be saying December. Hey, welcome to year 2024. <laughs> and my prayer is that before this year runs out, God is going to give you a big miracle in Jesus' name. All that you so desire to achieve for this month, this year, this month, God will help you to achieve every of them. And you... 2023 is going to be a fulfilled year for you and I. So I want us to thank God. Still in the mood of thanking God. I want us to appreciate God. I really want us to thank God this moment for keeping us alive um, for sound health, we are in good health, and um, here we are in the month of June. So many things has happened, like I said, from January to this moment. A lot of us we've tried on the road that a lot of people had accident, but God kept us alive. I want us to thank God for our health, especially. I want us to thank God for every part of our body. I want us to thank God because we are not in the mortuary, we are not on the hospital bed. I just want us to. Thank God today. I want us to really, really thank God. I want us to thank God for daily benefits. And you know, um, I always talk and emphasize this daily benefits. I said daily benefits start from when you sleep and when you wake up in the morning. When you wake up in the morning, that's where your daily benefits starts from. And the other one is you open your eyes, you are able to lift your hands, you're able to lift your leg, you're gonna you're able to get out of your bed, go to the bathroom, go out around the house, go out to your place of work. Those are daily benefits. And you know, all these daily benefits we are meant to be thanking God every day for all these daily benefits, for all these daily benefits. And you know, so many of us, we go hard and, you know, we just eat our leg against the stone. I will be like, oh, so many people eat their leg against the stone and that was the end. You think all those little, little accidents, it, they are just normal. It didn't claim your life. It didn't claim your earnings. It didn't claim your leg. It didn't claim any part of your body. You think they are just normal. They are not normal. It is... It is by the grace of God and the message of God that those things didn't affect you. And therefore, more reason why I want us to thank God, really appreciate God. Like, you know, um, a lot of things that our enemies meant for evil, God has his way of turning it around for our good. Yes, it's going to be a great moment on the show today and I want you guys to enjoy. Sit back and enjoy every beat, every second, every minute of all we're going to be talking about on the show today. Still in the mood of celebration. Happy New Month to those of you that are just joining me. I want you to say something in the comment section. Just say hello. Just say and tell us where you're watching from. You are important and I really want to appreciate you for joining me. Thank you so much, Tracer Micello. Oh, thank you so much. Where are you watching from? It says, keep up the good work. Thank you so much. I really, really appreciate you. Thank you so much for joining me on the show today. I really want to know more, more of you. I want to know you more, Thrace. Treasure Micello. I want to know you more. So tell me where you're watching from and tell us what are you what you are thankful to God for. What you are thankful to God for. If you don't know me, my name is Akinola Florence. People call me Flo. <laughs> So I just want us to thank God for being alive. And once again, welcome to Thankful Thursday. And you know, this show, on this show, we talk about being a Christian in today's world. We look at spirituality. We look at our faith. We look at 
um, things that ap ap happen around us. We talk about things, real life issues that happen around us. We encourage ourselves to be better. We talk about things that are make us that can make us a better version of ourselves. And you know, in this 21st century, a lot of things are happening. And so today's topic, we are going to be discussing about something that is very, very significant in a Christian life. for joining me mr wisdom adeolu i really appreciate you thank you so much so today we're going to be talking about a topic i tied to when you need to say no as a christian and not just as a christian like everybody as a person as every human being when we need to say no when do you need to say no i know a lot of people don't know how to say no and that is or let me say a lot of people have that weakness they don't know how to say no or uh, when not to say yes it's okay i'm not here to judge anyone but we are just i'm just here so we can talk about this and uh, be a better version of ourselves so as christians when you need to say no when you need to say no when should you say no at what should you say no to and how do you say no how do you say no i like okay let me use myself as an example i used to have that weakness and um that i don't really know i mean don't know i don't know how to say no to people not to bad things actually maybe to help someone or to do something for someone or to get out of my way to do something or to displace myself to please others you know that kind of a thing you know we like that that we have good at we are not common <laughs> when to say no and how to say no how to say no so as christians as human there are, there are times or there are them say there are times that we need to say no to some things a question we may all um have to ask ourselves from time to time from time to time even the bible tells us that there are times when we should say no even it if it means displacing people or disappointing them there are times that we need to say no the bible says let your no be no let your yes be no there is a reason for that because it is not everything you say yes to and it is not everything you say i mean it, there are times that you need to to say no to some things and when you say no to some things stick to it stand to it that this is my no and when you say yes let it be your yes so there's a reason we have that word in the scriptures and that is why we are talking about this topic when should i say no there are things we should be able to say no to as Christians. Of course, we should we should say no. Let me say it should be part of us as Christians to always say no to sin, to always say no to everything or anything that would displease God, to always say no to things that are not right, to always say no to bad, I mean, to bad behaviors, to always say no to things that will corrupt ourselves, that will corrupt our body, that will corrupt corrupt other people we that one is a constant k like it is constant saying no to all those ones they are constant but quickly i'll be explaining um much better on when we should say no chapter 16 verse 9 it tells us that in their hearts human plants their curse but the lord established their the lord established their steps and this tells us 
us that it is okay to make our own plans it is okay when we have our plans for our lives it is okay but that god will ultimately direct our path and we should not be afraid to say no in situations that are not okay or when temptations come around it is that we should not be afraid to say no to things that are not in line with god we with god's will for our life even if those around us disagree we should not be afraid to say no and you know i said this that it should be constant as christians we should be able to say no it should be part of us saying no to some things that are not in line with god's will for our life saying no to things that are not in line with god's plan for our life saying no to things that would displease god saying no to things that will make us turn against God against God so I hope I'm not fine <laughs> I have so many people watching but they are not just say something I just wanted to say something in the comment section just say I just say hey flow just say something just write something in the comment section and of course I appreciate you and everybody on the show all of you guys are important and that is more reason why i want to see you i want you to say something and also by sharing your own story to us by telling us your i mean parts your what you what you feel about the topic we are discussing or you have something very important you really want to share you want to tell the whole world what god has done for you this is a platform you can share that you're free to do that and um <laughs> you are free to do that of course i'm gonna love that so back to our topic back to our topic when to say no when should we say no so and also further in ephesians um 5 15 to 17 it gives us more guidance on when to say no and if you look carefully um if you look carefully into that verses look carefully then how you work not as look carefully then how you work not as unwise but as wise making the best use of the time because the days are evil therefore do not be foolish but understand what the will of the lord is we should say no to activities and people that lead us away from being wise and understanding what god desire for us like i said something there are just some things that we should learn to say no to for example if someone you have a friend you have a friend who is always calling you to go out to drink to do i mean maybe to do things to up people to do things that are not good you should be able to say no to such friend and that is what the scriptures is telling us that we should know we should say no to activities and people even people regardless of who the person is the person might be your benefactor might be your helper might be your sustainer might be your <laughs> rock of ages so it doesn't matter who the person is who the person is to you as far as what the person is trying to tell you to do is not in line with the will of god it's not in line with the with god's desire for you then we should say no and that's number three i said we should say no to sin we should say no to activities and people that are taking us away from god or asking us to do something that are not in line with the desires of god the plan of god for our lives and i know it could be difficult sometimes to say no especially um these people they owed i mean owed much importance in our life for example you as um okay let me use myself as an example in this case when i was young my not like my dad wasn't a christian though he is a christian he doesn't believe in this um activities i mean activity being active for god and you know i go to church um all i do go to church god is cool and you know like so there are times like that that when i get back from church he beats me 
And you know, I didn't stop. That didn't stop me from going to church. I already had, I had in my heart that when I got back from church, he's definitely going to beat me, but it did not stop me because that's the plan, the precepts, the, the way God wants me to walk then and nobody it was difficult i'm not gonna lie to you it was difficult it was tough for me because my parents i feel my parents should support me my dad should support me not like i am i i was going out to do bad things not like i was going out and following guys <laughs> i felt like it should even be happy that um he has a daughter who wants to serve god who is active for god but i don't know his reason i don't know why he does that but each time i go to church and i come late he beats me all the time but that didn't stop me but it was difficult so i know sometimes we might find ourselves in situations or most especially with people that are so important in our life and when they are asking us to do something for us to say no but in that area and that is why this bible says wisdom is talking about wisdom we need to ask for the wisdom of god we need to ask court to help us and direct us so that we'll be able to work according to his desires for our lives um i have someone um Temilolu. Well, thanks so much. She's watching from UK. Um, Mr. Wisdom Madiolo is watching from Newhurst. Thank you so much. He said, um, oh, thank you so much. He says, beautiful topic. Well done, girlfriend. Thank you so much. Thanks for your support. Um, <laughs> you see, if I was lying, she says, you were such a strong girl. I remember those times. Yes, I. it was, it was tough for me, but I... It was tough for me, but I purpose in my heart that my dad beating me for going to church is never going to stop me from going to worship God, from going to worship God. And also in Matthew 5, 37 says, let your yes be yes and your no, no. Anyhow, anything beyond that, I mean, anyhow, anything, anything that is beyond you know that it is not right. And this tells us that we should not be swayed by those who suggest breaking promises or contradicting our conventions. Anything, your conventions, any, anything or anybody or anyone trying to tell you to do things that is, um, that is not, or let me say that is against your conviction. As Christians, then we should practice being honest and being truthful and how do you practice being honest and being truthful it is by saying yes or by saying no like you mean it you say no you are not going to do that you are not going to do that. look at the story of um um joseph in the scriptures is um is um boss wife wanted him to do something against the will of god against his conviction and he says no he meant it and you know what he ran like he ran that is a, a good example of times when we need to say no it was a temptation and you know god has a great future great plan for joseph if he has done it who knows what could have happened that is a big example for us as christians we should learn from the life of joseph we should learn from the life of joseph and also um i'm going to be talking the, about this lastly there are times that we find ourselves in a situation that we need to help other people or we want to help other people we want to help i'm not saying we should not help we should help even the Bible says that we should help, help your neighbor, love your neighbor as yourself. And how do you love your neighbor? You start by, you know, start from giving, sharing things, you know, do things with your neighbor, help them, assist them. That is part of, I mean, the ways we share love with our neighbors. But there are times that, okay, I will, <laughs> I will always use myself as an example because, you know, we all have been through this and if i can't make myself an example then what am i saying so there was a time someone needed my help for um an amount of money but i don't have the money of course i could have just told the person i don't have the money but you know 
I, I, I told you, don't forget, I told you, I used to have that weakness. So I don't know what to do. Like I could just have told the person like, Hey, I don't have this money. I can't help. But you know, I went ahead to borrow money. <laughs> now I didn't tell the person I'm helping the person to borrow money. I'm just like borrow money from someone to give to another person. The person asked for my assistance. Like I need this money. And at the end, it didn't because I, I thought he was going to return the money back. That was what he said. But at the end, he didn't return the money. And I don't have any means of paying the person back. So there are times wisdom is profitable to direct, even while we are helping others, even while we are in the position to help others, to do things for people. When we don't have the capacity, there are times that we should be able to say no, not because you want to help the person or not because you don't want to help the person, but just because you, the help is not just available with you, with you with you so we should learn to say no we should learn to say no if you if you are out there let me come dive if you are out there you are a teenager you are out there you're a child you're still very young and your friends are telling you come let's go do this and you know that it is bad learn to say no that is what i am saying learn to say no to things that are not good to things even there are some things that are good that you still need to say no and this is where this is a place where we'll seek god face this is a place you're about to get married and there's um a, a lady she's a christian she sings in the church she might not be i mean uh, as a lady the guy came to you and you'd be like ah this brother is is oh he might not be the one but the the brother is actually good but he might not be the one so there are times that even things that are good we are meant to say no to them and that is the place where we go to god will seek god face for counsel, for counsel for god to order our step for god to tell us what to do for god to tell us which direction to go it is not everything we'll say yes to, and there are things we need to say no. And oftentimes, as Christ Christians, okay, I think I have someone on the show. Allah Sumbo, I can like, it's been a long time. Thanks for joining my life today. Thank you so much. Um, let me quickly read some comments. I must... <laughs> I must read Mr. Wisdom's comment. It says something. I am blessed to be among the living in any way. I am not better than anyone, but still God kept showing me his mercy and love every now and then. So he's thanking God for his love and his mercy and his mercy. Thank you so much, Mr. Wisdom. Thank you so much. He's saying something again. He says, there are so many situations where you need to say no. Exactly. When people tend to take advantage of your generosity, and if you don't know how to say no, in this case, please, people will rob, they will, they will rob you off. Yeah. People tend to take advantage of you when you don't know how to say no sometimes. So even to good things, to things that are good sometimes we need to learn to say no to it to it learn to say no to it i'm coming gradually to the end of the show coming gradually to the end of the show and also oftentimes as christians we find ourselves in difficult situation where we must make some difficult decisions on how to act as christians you know <laughs> when we go out we we meet with a lot of people a lot of people with different ideas with different character with different behavior with you know the way people behave some people you know as christians when we go out i know there are times to find ourselves in difficult situations that we need to make some difficult situations as christians and then we thought that we ought to respect and love those around us you know show them care and if one and there are times that even if we we do not um necessarily agree with their actions and their lifestyle but you know that as christians you're meant to go out show people love but what happens when a christian like we must say that um 
What happens when we must say no to something that will feel it is not Christian like behavior? Like, you know, I said some of those things that some acts and some behavior that are really not Christian like, but um, when we go out, we want to, we want to love everybody. We want to show everybody that we love them. We want to show them what love really means. But in that situation as Christians, how do we act? How do we act? Or so when we need to say no in that kind of situation? <laughs> For example, when someone's choice is against our faith, it can be difficult. It can be difficult. It can be so difficult. I said this earlier. It can be so difficult. Saying no could be difficult sometimes. And um, this um, will be my conclusion on the topic before I go today. So this is my conclusion. It's important to remember that as a Christian, we should um, we we should always be willing to help others. We should always be willing to, I mean, show love to people, to draw people, to sh show care to people around us, to be part of people around us. When you have friends that are not Christians, of course, when they want to celebrate some things because they are your friend, you want to go there, you want to, but as Christians, but at the same time, we should also be wise in our decisions. If you have to displease people to please God by saying no, it is no. If you have to, um, um, if people have to hate you, all because you are following God's plan for your life and you have to say no, it is just that you have to say no. There's nothing we can do about that. When we have to make decisions and also when we're also to i mean to be able to acknowledge when it's the right time the appropriate time to say no and um, my prayer is that god will provide us with um god will give us the wisdom to go about all of this all of this so and lastly i'm gonna be saying that in every decision that you want to make in everything that you want to do when you when you need to say no to some things go to god for direction god is there when we pray to him you talk to god god gives you answer god tells you do this do that say no to this don't do this this is where you should these are the steps you should take so we should always commit all things like everything into god's end we should always tend to commit everything into god's end and i'm sure god will direct our path god will direct our past and last but not the least when god asks us to do something or we are being faced with a difficult choice we should always consult with god and follow his will the bible asks as clear examples of when to say no and um, guidance on how to remain strong in our faith in all situation when temptation arises and that is let your yes be yes and let your no be no. Thank you, infallible mankind. Baba, what made you feel your con? I draw a salute. So thanks for joining me on the show today. I have a lot of people on the show today, and I'm so excited. And I really want to appreciate you. But it's not enough for you to just watch, but it is it will be okay and um, better if you participate in the topic like what we did today is um the topic i talk about today saying no when to say no as christians or any other person it's let me say a lot of people have that weakness they don't know how to say no and this has landed a lot of people into trouble yes like me several times into trouble <laughs> several times even people even take me not being able to say no they take advantage of it they like ah no she's just weak she's this she's that but that will be a story for another time <laughs> another time another time so i want to appreciate everyone for joining me on the show today i want to say thank you and that i love you so much without you guys i won't be here there will be no flow there will be no thankful Thursday, and I want to say thank you for joining me on Temple Thursday today. And get ready, get ready, always be ready for meaningful conversation, deep discussion, and thoughtful insights on this 
on this show every Thursday. May God bless you and watch over you always. And in this new month of June, I'm gonna come and celebrate with you and you all, you're gonna celebrate with me as well. I love you guys. I love you. <laughs> Infallible man can leave me. He <laughs> said big shout out to you, mama. Thank you so much. I love you. Hey, I hope they will not come and carry me on the show with my love you. And I hope someone is not jealous. Anyway, I love you. Thank you so much. I'm running I knew people, people, people are online, but they just you don't want me to take I love you back. But anyway, Sha, I love you. Thank you so much. I'm running No, I mean, um Oh, it says our number is not working again. Um, it's like Okay, it says uh, my no button, no they work again. Okay, we'll talk after the after the service. <laughs> thank you so much, thank you guys. You are wonderful. Until I see you next week, same time on the show. Thankful Thursday. I remain your girl, Akinola Florence. Flow. Till next week. Bye.